Hi friends, welcome to Success Learners channel and uh, this is Sai Balaji. And today we are going to see about the print function. What is a print function? A print function is a built-in function in Python that allows the user to write on uh, write on the output console. Uh, let us see one by one operations uh, performed by the print, uh, how it works. Uh, let's start. Let us print an empty print function. The syntax of print function is a print of an open and closed brackets. Uh, this will allow the user to write in out the output console. It will uh, print uh, nothing in the output console. Here the output uh, is showing nothing. Let's print uh, hello world in the print function. Print off. In the double quotes, hello world. Let's see the output. Let's run. See the output console here. We came the uh, hello world. Uh, let us uh, print multiple variables using print function. Uh, let us take a equals to 10 and b equals to a string. And C equals to 1.05. I take the A equals to an integer and B equal to a string and C equals to floating point. Let's print this all in the print function using the comma operator A comma B comma C. We can print this three. C we get the 10 string and 1.05. And coming to how can we separate this uh, using the separator function print? We have a we have an option in print like uh, we can separate the two variables or three variables using this separator operator like uh, print of a comma b comma c comma separator equals to and just not giving space or uh, any symbol or any separating object uh, symbol in this uh, print object. Let us see uh, how this works. See here, there is no spacing between these three variables. They are merged together. If, if we want to separate this by a space, we are going to use space here. See here, if you going, if you want to give double space, it is also possible like uh, the double space is printing in between these uh, variables. And uh, coming to the next one, let us pass some symbols in this separator object like uh, print of a comma b comma c comma separator equals to. Let us generally use this separator uh, with a comma operator, comma symbol. See here the each and uh, each of these. Th Three variables are separated by comma. If you want to give some symbols in between these uh, variables, uh, let us see. We are giving a line of. Uh, we are giving a line of uh, uh, this pull stops. Let's see what happens. See these three variables are separated by this uh, list of uh, pull stops. So and uh, we have an another option in this uh, print function the like end. So what should happen after this print done? At the end of the line or at end of the print function, what should it return? This is uh, going to be done using this end function. Let's see this one print of a comma b comma c comma end is equals to let us give it with a empty string. Uh, like this is a let's run this one you see nothing did happen to our print function why because at the end of the at the end of this line our print function we are giving nothing that's why it is not showing let us uh, give this uh, exclamatory mark here see what happens see if you see this at the end of uh, at the end of this uh, print function, it return the exclamatory mark. So 
we can do whatever we want at this end of the function. See, it is returning the list of full stops. So, what I mean to say is, this will not disturb the variables or in between these variables at the end of the printing of all these variables at the end of the print function it will return the given object in this double in this double quotes and going to this uh, i want to show you this uh, end function using two prints uh, like let us see print of a comma b comma c comma end is equals to let us uh, give this symbol and then print off a comma b comma c see what i mean is after the end of this uh, first print function it will return this arrow symbol and then it will not enter into the next line it will the next print of the second print statement will also written in the first line itself see what happens see here the first print statement ending the arrow is written and the second print of print statement is also written in the first line itself if you want to go to next line you have to give here the slash n why because if you want to go to the next line, you have to give this at the in the end function. Otherwise, it will return in the same line. 